Coming up next on Auto Show TV, we send Victoria to Elmwood to check out the new Dodge Durango. Plus, I visit Graphic Innovations in Warwick, where we go behind the scenes to see just how these guys do a vehicle wrap. Also, a review of the Toyota Sienna minivan. And Jim Melvin gives us some tips to get your car set for winter. All that and more next on Auto Show TV. That's a wrap. Is that That's a wrap? A wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> Auto Show TV. Good morning, welcome to Auto Show TV this morning. I'm John Coletto. We're coming to you today from Elmwood Auto Group on Route 44 in East Providence. If you're thinking anything Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, or Ram, this is the place to come. Elmwood Auto Group, they're an auto intelligence recommended dealer. Now, if you're thinking about a new vehicle for your family, if you have a growing family, you need more room, you want to upgrade your ride, Victoria Moran is inside with a great suggestion for you. This morning on Auto Show TV, we take a look at an SUV that's perfect for large families on the go. It's one of the mid-size SUV class leaders, so let's find out why. Auto Intelligence presents the 2014 Dodge Durango. The Dodge Durango is similar in some ways to its cousin, the Jeep Grand Cherokee, but there are notable differences. So let's get the full walk around here at Elmwood Auto Group in East Providence, Auto Show TV's Dodge Experts. Dennis, I love the Grand Cherokee. Is it possible for me to love the Durango too? It is, and you're gonna love the new Durango. Since 2011, there's been some uh, major improvements in both the engine, transmission, and styling. You know that this is a Dodge Durango when it's coming down the street and it doesn't blend in with all the other mid-size to large SUVs out there. And the Dodge Durango gets mid to high 20s for gas mileage. It achieves that uh, great gas mileage by pairing the eight-speed automatic transmission with the new Pentastar V6 motor. The Dodge Durango is loaded with safety features and a lot of the uh, top of the line safety features that you'd find in high-end luxury cars, such as forward collision warning and adaptive cruise control. Making our way to the side of the vehicle, this vehicle also has lane departure warning, where it will sense if you're drifting out of your lane. And there are a lot of other safety features as well that are hidden in the vehicle. This vehicle is equipped with side impact beams. There's uh, steel beams inside the doors to help protect from side intrusions. There are front and rear crumple zones in the vehicle. There's actually breakaway motor mounts on the engine where in a frontal crash the engine mounts will break away and that way none of the components will come up through the floorboards possibly injuring any of the occupants inside. The hood has pressure points on it that will actually bend rather than stay straight and come to the windshield possibly injuring inside occupants. Now the Durango comes in either a six passenger or seven passenger. With the seven passenger the middle seat will be a bench seat and with the six passenger it will be bucket seats. Now with the bucket seats, you can simply walk through the middle or with both the buckets and the bench, they both tip and fold. Pull and pull and that gives you full access to the back of the vehicle. Now the Durango is equipped with keyless enter and go, which means this key fob never has to leave your pocket or pocket book. It'll actually sense that the key fob is within a certain proximity of the vehicle. But before we do that, I just want to hit the unlock button and show you one of the unique styling cues on the Durango. It's the LED rear track light system, uh, which a lot of people go crazy over. So, let's open up the rear lift gate, press the button on the key fob twice, a warning chime will sound letting you know that the vehicle is opening. It also does that when it's closing. Now in the back of the vehicle, you have plenty of storage space. By simply pulling this lever, we can fold these seats down. It's a 50-50 split folding seat. You can fold down one side or both, depending on how much cargo space you need. So again, let's close this up. Quick push of the button on the inside here. Again, it'll beep three times to let you know it's closing, and it will close. It'll now it also has, right. You'll notice if it that's hits right. my arm, great. It has one of the most sensitive obstacle detection systems in its class. As soon as it senses an object in the way, it'll retract. Uh, into the open position. Let's go ahead and power this uh, Durango up. Now this vehicle has a built-in vehicle information center in the center of the cluster there and that is controlled by these arrows up, down, left and right. This will tell you how much gas you can travel uh, with what you have left in the tank, 
This will tell you time elapsed odometer. This is where you also turn on your adaptive cruise control. And the three settings for that are also located in the vehicle information center. On the right hand side is your standard cruise control settings as well as your distance settings where you actually set them into place and it is as easy as set it and forget it. If a vehicle again moves in front of you it'll slow you down once that vehicle moves into the opposite lane it'll speed you back up and keep you cruising at the preset speed. Uh, moving our way down to the radio. This radio is more uh, is more of a computer than a radio. It has a 40 gigabyte hard drive built in and you can do a ton of cool features. The satellite radio which is free for one year um, you can actually pause, play, rewind and fast forward live music. Some of the other cool features here the con uh, controls as far as your heated seat controls, ventilated seat controls, heated steering wheel are all located uh, here at the touch of a button. Below that is your auxiliary output, your USB output and your SD card uh, holder. This has an electronic shifter here which uh, kind of gives you a, a seamless center console. Everything's nice and streamlined um, and it just gives you more room in the center here. Now let's just talk a minute about the four-wheel drive system. The Durango comes with a full-time four-wheel drive system which requires no driver input. It senses wheel slippage. It senses uh, the intended path of the driver and the actual path of the vehicle and it'll actually apply brake pressure to the inside and outside of the wheels to help compensate and, and maintain control. So what'd you think? I'm impressed. I loved it. There's a lot to love. Four-wheel drive, seven passenger, plenty of room, and great fuel economy for this size vehicle. Again, mid to high 20s on the highway. So I'd like to personally invite all of my customers come down, to come down to Elmwood Auto Group for the big finish sales event. Get a great deal. If you're a business owner in the Rhode Island area and have needed help with your marketing and promotions, there's a good chance you've called on these guys for some help. Graphic Innovations in Warwick. They're in the business of helping businesses get noticed. And one of the things Graphic Innovations does best is vehicle wraps. They can wrap cars, SUVs, trucks, trailers, and buses from one vehicle to entire fleets. You probably see their work every day. Graphic Innovations is a large format printing company. Uh, we handle large format graphics for trade shows, wall murals, uh, vehicle wraps, very large part of our business. Each year we do hundreds. Uh, not only the vehicles that we actually wrap here uh, at, the, at the shop, but we do national as well. Uh, we've done vehicles in Canada, Hawaii, Alaska. We're the only MCS certified shop in Rhode Island that's match component systems. So we have 3M approved printers, inks, and materials. And this uh, allows us to give the warranty. And I'm sure your techs are pretty good at what they do. They are, they are. That's, that is key. The, the final step obviously is in the installation and we do have our own installers uh, with the company. So that gives us full quality control and they are very, very good at what they do. So John, here's where it begins, uh, the design process. Uh, we work off of vehicle templates. Uh, that we get from the manufacturer and on occasion when a template doesn't exist for a particular vehicle we can make one. But it's not just about slapping a few logos on a vehicle. I'm sure there's a, a real thought process to, to the message and, a, and a, I'm sure a certain wow factor. Absolutely. There's definitely a creative aspect to this process. Uh, we take the information from the client, whether it be logo, photography, uh, bullet points as to services and we work with the client as to that it, what information they want to place on the vehicle. So this is one of our printers. It's actually printing out one of the panels that will go onto the vehicle. So here's where you really see the MCS certification where you have the machine, ink, and media, all 3M approved. Brian, what's the significance of laminating this? A couple of things. Uh, one, the laminate is a UV film, so it does uh, add to the life of the graphic by protecting it from UV rays. Gotcha. Uh, handling of the material. The laminate gives the material a little bit of extra body. Mm. So when it's being applied to the to the vehicle, it's easier to handle. Because without the laminate, the vinyl is so thin, it would almost be like taffy, more difficult to work with. So John, right now what Felix is doing is panel matching. He's just taking uh, each individual panel, tacking them up with magnets, uh, just to 
confirm the position of the graphics according to the go-by. Once that is done, then he will actually begin the process of adhering it to the actual vehicle. Each panel is printed with a one inch overlap, yep. and that gives us our direction as far as where to place the panel. So no cutting just yet? No. So John, part of the process is to show the client a printed proof. This is printed at 100% scale on the actual material. Uh, we take various cross sections of the design. This way the client can see color and resolution, a true representation of what it's going to look like on the vehicle. So Brian, now Felix is, is really starting to apply this panel. Yes. Yeah. Yes, he's removing the release liner. Uh, he'll cut that top part off, apply the uh, adhesive back vinyl right to the surface of the vehicle, and then begin to work his way down the panel. The material is, uh, actually acts like a second skin. When the vehicle is completely wrapped, uh, the finish is protected. It's not exposed to the elements, salt, wind, sun, you know, all that good stuff. And it's not permanent. No, you can remove it three, four, five years down the road when you do want to remove the graphic. It goes, comes off the same way it went on with a little bit of heat. Well, Brian, it's really taking shape. It is, it is. One of the last steps that, uh, that we take is the application of the window perf. This is a perforated version of the vinyl that allows you to carry the graphic on the outside, but yet when you're inside, you're still able to see through the glass to the outside. Right. Sort of a one-way mirror effect, if you will. Sure. Well, job is done. How did Felix do? He did terrific. He did a great job. This is uh, a real powerful uh, graphic message that we're going to be uh, traveling around in out there. So, yeah. 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 When graphic innovations comes down the street, people will know this. Absolutely. Timetable-wise, how long does it really take start to finish? I only physically need the vehicle for a day and a half to two days, depending on the size of the vehicle. Obviously, box truck or tractor trailer will take maybe a little bit longer. Yep. How about price-wise? What are we talking? Again, it depends on the size and make of the vehicle. Uh, you know, you can wrap as much or as little of a vehicle as you like to fit your budget. Yeah. Uh, a lot of fleet uh, companies come to me and say, look, I have X amount of vehicles and I only want to spend X amount of dollars per vehicle, and we can come up with a design that will match that budget. Graphic Innovations is on Jefferson Boulevard in Warwick for large format printing and, of course, vehicle wraps. Find out more at giwraps.com. Brian, thanks very much for showing us how this was done. I really enjoyed it. Learned a lot. Thank you very much. It was a lot of fun for us, too. Thank you. Great. That's a wrap. Is that That's a wrap? a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Victoria takes us to Colonial Toyota. You're watching Auto Show TV. The official auto loan provider of Auto Show TV is Navigant Credit Union for all your new, used, and classic car and truck financing needs. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. Only at Anchor Nissan will you find the exclusive Anchor Nissan Lifetime Assurance Warranty on every new Nissan. There's no additional charge or mileage limit. You're covered for a lifetime, and it's only at Anchor. At Anchor Nissan, it's not only a better price, it's a better deal. Distracted driving can be deadly. You're 23 times more likely to be involved in an accident while texting and driving. Don't become another statistic. I'm attorney Larry Signori. Don't text and drive. Hey, Jeff here at Village Motors with exciting news. We have over 100 vehicles in stock, all competitively priced and come with an additional five-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Here's an example. Purchase this Toyota Solaro with 76,000 miles, and you'll have coverage till 2018 or 176,000 miles. So hurry down, pick your vehicle, and add an additional five years and 100,000 miles to its current mileage. So visit us and experience why we have become Rhode Island's largest certified pre-owned dealer. Village Motors, a higher standard in pre-owned vehicles. Only at Anchor will you find the exclusive Anchor Subaru Lifetime Assurance Warranty on every new Subaru. There's no additional charge or mileage limit. You're covered for a lifetime, and it's only at Anchor. At Anchor Subaru, it's not only a better price, it's a better deal. Good morning. We're here at Colonial Toyota in Smithfield. 
When it comes to keeping the family safe and comfortable on the roads, parents want the very best. And for those who want the practicality of a minivan, you can get it all in the Toyota Sienna. The 2014 Toyota Sienna is an auto intelligence top pick for a variety of reasons. Its powerful V6 engine provides good gas mileage. Sienna's safety technology is outstanding. It's comfortable for the kids, seats up to eight, plenty of storage, three zone climate control, and lots more. And you don't have to have kids to see that the Sienna is as versatile and intelligent as any vehicle on the road. Joining us again this morning is Amanda Sperry. Amanda, there's a lot to talk about with the Sienna, so let's get started. All right, well today we're gonna to be looking at the 2015 Sienna. This is the LE front wheel drive. It does come front wheel drive and all wheel drive with achieving 18 to 25 miles per gallon for the front wheel drive and 16 and 23 miles per gallon for the all wheel drive. That's pretty good. Yeah, it is pretty great. The vehicle has tons of versatility, has lots of storage, lots of safety features, so I definitely want to get started and show you everything that it has to offer. So with the Sienna LE, we are going to have automatic opening doors on our push fob on our key as well, so we can access the back seats very easily. So let me show you a little bit about how these seats work back here, because there's a lot to see. Um, you're going to have captain's chairs, which the armrests can come down, making it much more comfortable for your rear passengers. Your seats can be reclined, of course, for extra comfort. They also can move forward or back to be able to give your third row passengers more leg room. And these seats also can come out, so depending on, you know, if you need to put a lot of storage in here, if you're moving something, um, they can actually just roll out by pulling this lever, lever here and these seats can fully come out all the way and this can all be storage. So back here we're going to be looking at the third row seats with the a tremendous amount of storage space that we have when the seats are up as well as down. I'm going to show you how the seats work. Your headrests have little levers on the sides which flip them down and then everything is numbered. So we have number one lever and then we have a number two lever. To fold them down, we're going to pull number two, and then we're going to pull number one, and then they just fold right into the storage space below. Now, the front wheel drive comes as an eight passenger, and the all wheel drive comes as a seven passenger. With the eight passenger, you get the third center seat in the second row, which is removable. It can actually be stored right here as well. All right, so today, once again, we are looking at the LE, but there are many trim levels to the Sienna. There is an L, LE, SE, XLE, and Limited. So there are many, many different options, technology options, such as like a rear DVD, navigation, but today we're gonna to be looking at a more basic model. So you're gonna have all power windows, power locks, power window child safety locks. And then on your steering wheel, you're gonna have all of your controls easily located. So audio and Bluetooth controls. And then moving over to the right is all of your audio, which makes it very convenient because it's all right there. All your air controls are centrally located in the center, which controls driver side, rear temperature, and passenger temperature. So you can control everything in the vehicle. So with these controls down here, it's going to show you different options on the smaller screen up top. If you hit info, it's going to give you your average fuel economy, ECOM, your current fuel economy, distance to empty, your average speed, and then of course your trip timer. It will also show all of your air controls um, right on that screen as well as a backup camera. You also have a storage tray down here with a non-slip grip pad with a USB and auxiliary cord below as well. We have plenty of storage. There's another storage spot in here. It's an extremely deep console. And then you also do have two storage spots up here. And of course, your glove box as well. Very nice. Well, Amanda, thank you for taking the time today to show us the Sienna. Not a problem, it's been my pleasure. The vehicle is a wonderful vehicle for all families. It's a versatile, reliable, dependable vehicle, has all the latest and greatest safety features with an overall five-star safety crash test rating. And Colonial will be happy to help you pick out your new vehicle 
with any option that you're looking to get into for any budget. We have plenty to choose from in stock, and if we don't have it, we'll be happy to get you one. Come join us here at Colonial Toyota for a great experience under our gateway to savings. So make, make this your last stop, stop for your best deal. deal. Colonial. Next, getting your vehicle ready for winter. You're watching Auto Show TV. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. Welcome to Colonial Toyota in Smithfield, Rhode Island. Conveniently located right off routes 295 and 146. We're just down the street from the Lincoln Mall. I'm John Malloy, service manager here at Colonial Toyota with over 30 years of Toyota related experience. Well, our first goal every day is to exceed our customers' expectations. People come in for various reasons, whether it be for an oil change or major maintenance or heavy repairs on their vehicle. We have 20 bays here in our shop. We have 18 full-time technicians. We have technicians who have achieved the highest level of certification in Toyota, Toyota Master Diagnostic Technician. We also have four hybrid technicians who have attained the highest level of certification from Toyota. When customers arrive here at Colonial, they're able to pull right inside our building, outside of the weather, and one of our service advisors greet them right at the car to review all their service needs. If you'd like, we'd be more than happy to bring you right out into the shop to see your vehicle, to see specifically what we're recommending and why we're recommending that repair or that service. We have over $10 million in parts inventory available to us within 24 hours. We also have the Toyota Tire Center. You can also visit us at colonialtoyota.com you can schedule your service appointment online 24 hours a day. You can also visit our service specials page for savings coupons that we have available. If you'd like to leave your vehicle with us, we can provide shuttle service. We'll even drive you home if you so desire. We also have available rental cars. If you choose to wait here at Colonial, we have a convenient, comfortable waiting area adjacent to the sales showroom. The thing I'm most proud of here at Colonial is our commitment to exceed your expectations. We'd love to have new customers visit our Toyota Service Center here in Smithfield. We welcome all new customers. We think you'll enjoy the experience at Colonial Toyota. If you'd like more information about any of the dealers and deals you've seen on today's show or would like to view previous episodes of Auto Show TV, go to our website, theautoshow.tv. So how do I describe nostalgic and more? Well, we're definitely unique. That's why we say we're your not-so-general store. We carry classic rock and roll t-shirts, incense candles and oils, collectible vinyl record albums, nostalgic tin signs, work gloves, even Daytona motorcycle helmets, and lots of hard-to-find and rare treasures. Check our website for specials, nostalgic and more, celebrating our 20th anniversary in Attleboro. We're fun, energetic, and unique, just like our customers. Auto Show TV's Car Care Tips, presented by Melvin's Tire Pros, where buying tires and fixing your car is never a hassle. Well, here it is, that time of year. you got to winterize your car. Be prepared this winter. Jim Melvin, let's go through the winterize your car six-pack here at Tire Pros. John, the first thing we want to talk about is antifreeze. Yes. Now, you know, antifreeze is incredibly important for keeping your car ready for the cold temperatures. The one caveat being, you don't have to replace antifreeze in newer cars quite as frequently as you do in older cars. The vast majority of cars from say 2006 on, you got about 100,000 miles on antifreeze. But the moral to the story is, check your antifreeze before winter, make sure that the viscosity temperatures are correct, and make sure it's full. Can you do that yourself or do you really have to bring it in? I'd recommend having a professional do it. You know, you could certainly stop into any one of our stores and have it checked on a complimentary basis anytime. Okay, number two. Batteries, okay. your battery. Yes. We carry a full line of interstate batteries at Tire Pros. Now, what happens with batteries is this. When batteries become damaged is actually throughout the summer, in the warm and hot months. Hmm. 
But then what happens is when you find out you have a problem is when those first couple cold days below freezing come, that's when we have a plethora of people calling in with dead batteries. So once again, this is a great time of year. Check your battery. With most modern systems today, we can check the condition of someone's battery in less than five minutes. All right, number three, wiper blades, obvious. Wiper blades, it's funny. Wiper blades is one of our hottest items for sale. The average life of a wiper blade is about 10 to 12 months. What happens is, we get, regardless of whether it's a bean construction or the old conventional rubber construction, they dry rot, they crack, they lose their effectiveness to properly clean the window. So rule of thumb, once a year, change your wipers. Sometimes wiper blades, you see them in the stores, they can get pricey, but especially for winter, it's, it's probably worth getting a really good pair. You know, you look at, yes they are, but one of the things that's happened is, you know, you go through the life cycle of wiper blades, they've really come down in the last year or two. For example, our premium Bosch wiper blade is $17.95 oh. per blade. Installed, change your wiper blades once a year. Not bad at all. All right, engine oil. Well, engine oil is something you always want to stay on top of much more important than either extreme cold or extreme heat. Keep your engine changed, you know, intervals really depend based on what the manufacturer recommends, but between five to 7,500 miles, change your engine oil. Does the grade of engine oil change from winter to summer? No, in the old days you would do that, but the vast majority of cars have a specific viscosity oil. You wanna run that year round in New England. All right, number five, an emergency kit. Is, does that make sense? Always a great idea, John. Going back to my old days as a Boy Scout, always be prepared. Yes. You know, you can have a car that's in tip-top mechanical condition with tires that are in excellent condition, and you can always pick up a nail or have a flat. So be prepared. Have a AAA membership. Have an emergency roadside assistance kit in there. Keep a blanket in there. Keep a flashlight in there. Keep a bottle of water in there. Uh, make sure you always travel with a cell phone. Uh, just common sense items. All right, and finally, number six, your favorite, tires. Here we go. <laughs> the biggest thing with tires, obviously, A, is you want tires in good condition. But what happens with winter tires versus all-season tires? A lot of people say, boy, you know, I don't drive that much in snow or we don't get that much snow. But where the difference is in the two tires is once that temperature drops below 40 degrees, even with no snow on the ground, a winter tire is going to give you substantially more traction. Things like braking distances are virtually cut in half, even in situations where there's no snow on the ground. So if you do a lot of driving, you may want to consider replacing a winter tire because it is a substantial driving distance through the winter. All right. Folks, winterize your car. Good information. And if people have any questions, they can give us a call, stop into any one of our AAA approved auto service centers for a complimentary check on all the items we discussed today. And remember, Melvin's Tire Pros, where buying tires is never a hassle. Well, that'll wrap up today's Auto Show TV. If you have any questions about the Dodge Durango, would like to take it for a test drive, come on down here to Elmwood Auto Group in East Providence. And if you missed any of the show today, what do they do, Victoria? Visit our website, theautoshow.tv. Have a safe week on the roads, everybody. Don't drink and drive, and don't text and drive. This has been Auto Show TV, produced in cooperation with Auto Intelligence. Thanks to our participating dealers and sponsors. This has been Auto Show TV.